Hi, I'm Doug Heileman. As a provider of independent private sector audits, or IPSAs, I get a lot of questions from clients and prospective clients about what an IPSA is. I think perhaps an equally important question is what an IPSA is not. So let's discuss that for a minute. The SEC rule includes two objectives for the independent private sector audit. The auditor must express an opinion or draw a conclusion as to whether the issuer's design of due diligence is consistent in all material respects with a nationally or internationally recognized framework. As a practical matter, the OECD due diligence guidelines has been the due diligence framework adopted by nearly every public issuer. Objective number two requires the auditor to express an opinion as to whether the due diligence measures described in the Conflict Minerals Report were actually taken in the reporting period. In other words, did you do what you said you did? Those are the two objectives of the independent private sector audit, and that's it. What an IPSA is not is a lot of things. An IPSA is not a review of the completeness of all the parts included in scope for conflict minerals. An IPSA does not review the conclusions of the products that may or may not be conflict free. An IPSA does not review forward looking statements. An IPSA does not assess whether the program conforms with customer requirements or if the program is efficient or effective or if there are adequate internal controls. So keep all these things in mind as you procure an IPSA, as you read it, or as you use it. Make sure you only use it for its intended purpose. Maybe an IPSA should come with a warning label. Read and use only according to directions. Thank you for tuning in for this tip. I hope you found it helpful. Please feel free to contact me for more information.